Hi everybody, welcome to In Pillow Talk, another awesome day. We're grateful to God for his mercies that are new upon us every day. Every job of the ground this day is enough to say, Father, thank you. Thank you for your grace and mercy upon me, upon all of us. Our numbers aren't up yet. When you look around us these days, we're not even sure where the world is heading. We don't even know what to do or what not to do. But I know a God who knows everything. Who created the heavens and earth for his purpose and for his will he gave you an eye to dwell in it for you to understand that and believe that you need to then look at who God is my prayer for all of us is that may we walk with God intimately to understand who he is and not the gifts and not the things we can get out of him let us not get receive the gifts and forget the giver of the gifts, but may we always acknowledge who exactly who gave you that gift in Jesus' name. Yes, today we're going to talk about Trap Actors 1. Yes, a few a few weeks ago, I actually went out, maybe it's about a month ago plus, I actually went outside to the garden and I realized I didn't prune my flowers, my rose flowers. I don't have that many. But the two I really love so much. So I decided, I thought maybe I'm late or something. I pruned them. Yesterday I went out. I was so excited because they are just blossoming all over the place. The ones I didn't prune don't look as good as the ones I have pruned. But they're growing. And I thought, wow. So I started meditating. I was reminded of that story yesterday that happened and that's why i'm sharing it with you when we go to john 15 jesus says those who do not bear fruits i pluck them out and he says he would prone the ones that are bearing fruits to produce much fruits that's exactly what i did with my plant yesterday a few weeks ago and actually i took out the ones that I looked at them and I thought they were not going to produce something. They were just wasting <laughs> my soil. I actually took them and I was so angry. I actually pulled them out. And when I saw that scripture, I wondered how many of us are going through a pruning process and blaming Satan. How many of us are going through a pruning process? Instead of going through your process, you're looking at other people and comparing yourself with other people and thinking, look at that person who is so sinful, I know what they're doing, but yet they're prospering. And look at me being holier than thou. My life is in a mess and, 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 and the many ants we can add. How many of us are going through our processes instead of thanking God for giving you the strength to go through it, but you complain, why me? Why is God doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this? And you put in a plan B. That was never God's good intention for you. How many of us are going through that process because it is a proning process? The manual of life says, it says for the ones that God loves, he chisels, he chastises. I changed the word to chisel because the process is not an easy one. When I say Chester dies, some of us might start to think, mm. when I say he chisels, you actually understand because every tap on a chisel brings pain. And the pain is to beautify it. When you watch a, a sculptor, it takes a wood and creates it and chisels left, right, center, up, down. By the time the finish, you look at the outcome, you're thinking, wow, did that actually come out from that piece of wood? And that's what God wants to do with you and I. But somehow we believe so much in Satan. We call so much Satan when we're going through a process rather than thanking God for the strength to go through that process. Yes, I know it's easy. It's not easy. I know it's hard, but it's a process we must all go through. A few years back, uh, as I was meditating, actually, uh, the Lord gave me this story, and I'm just going to share with you today. A few years back, my I took my first son. We went out to do computer shopping. He was going to buy me a computer. So I gave him my card. He, he knows my number from my card. So he had a card in his pocket, and he's posing around the shop and looking. And we got the right computer. He got it. He took it to the till. 
and he asked the amount and he removed the card and was paying because he had my card. If I asked him to use his card, who <laughs> would have been in the shop all day? I'm saying this jokingly, God has given every single one of us his wallet. The question I ask is, what are you doing with God's wallet? You may be trapped. You've trapped yourself looking at the process you're going through and forget that the, there is a grace over you to go through that process. Rather, you look at somebody else and want to become that person because what you see is just physical. You don't know what that person is going through. You look at somebody's marriage from the outside. You're so desperate to come in. You don't know what they're going through until you come in and you realize it's not as easy as I thought. You look at somebody's business. You want to copy, you want to do yours. You don't go and ask, what are the problems? How do I arrive at that? How, what must I do to achieve a good business? No, you go and start yours. And you realize it was never easy in the first place and you close it down. All because we don't want to take time and understand and learn through a process and learn from other people and learn their ups and their downs in the process. So you can do yours better, better than what you see. We never seem to spend time to prepare, but we are quick to jump in and just enjoy. All of us want to enjoy the glory. I always say I was one of a fan, the biggest fan of Oprah Winfrey. And uh, years, years, years ago, I always, I mean, a few friends used to call me Oprah, <laughs> which I, I pray the grace falls. <laughs> There are a few friends who used to call me that. And um, I was seeing what she was doing and I liked what she was doing. I didn't know the pain she had gone through to get to where she was. The day I found out what she had gone through, I was looking at her for the glory she carried. That was all I wanted, that glory. But there is a process that has birth for that glory. Was I prepared to go through her own process? No. I want to go through my own process to birth forth my own glory. Never be quick to look at somebody and want to copy them. Look at somebody and want to take what they have. Look at somebody. Learn. Learn to sit under them and learn the issues, the worries, so you can develop yourself better and have even bigger and better, better than they have. Never be quick. Shortcuts never make it in life for all of us. Don't be quick to be looking all the time for shortcuts. There's always a process in this world. The world we live in. Shortcuts would take us sometimes to an early grave. I remember years back we went on a journey and we decided to take a shortcut. We ended up three hours off the road. Had it been we were on the road, we would have arrived earlier because we're taking shortcuts and so many other people were taking shortcuts. Because we went to a, a traffic jam, chocker block. Nobody was, we could not go left, you could not go right. We just had to see through it. So short, shortcuts are not always the best for all of us. Learn to look at the, per, the wallet God has given you. Open it. Spend time in opening it. It will be a process. I remember uh, Moses, according to Moses in the Bible, when God called him, he was so worried and his question was he looked at his limitations and he was fighting God, not because he couldn't do the job, but because of his limitations. God, I am a stammerer. I don't want to. I am a stammerer. Uh, I cannot speak. Uh, I'm not eloquent. Uh, you've chose the wrong guy. Please, there are better, offer, better people than I. You can go. And God said, do you think I didn't know that you are a stammerer? Did I not create you? But I have somebody who is more eloquent. This journey is not just for you alone. I have kept you somebody to help you along the process. Sometimes we look at our limitations because we refuse to open the purse that we've been blessed with. We refuse to open the blessings you came down on earth with. It doesn't matter how you are here 
for a reason and for a purpose. Don't trap yourself in the limitations of your circumstances. Don't trap yourselves in the limitations of your of your sins or your limitations of life. Every single one of us have limitations. Yes, yes, yes. Every single one of us have crosses that we are carrying. It may not be obvious to the to the naked eye because by the time we come on TV or on face fake book, oh my God, you will think you're the only one going through hell on earth. But that is fakeness. So many people are going through hells. After fake book, they get into the realities of life. And when you come to find out, you're far better. You're far ahead where most people are. Dictate, transform that mindset. Focus, put your focus on where you're going. Not put your focus on the limitations, on the situations that you encounter. Learn to see it as a process. Knowing that as you walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, you fear no one. Heaven is backing you up to get through the tunnel and see the light at the end of that tunnel. For you to do that, you need to dig deep, deeper than ever before to bring out the best of that purse you're carrying, the best of the gift you've been blessed with for this generation. We're all excited to take from you, to receive from you and become better people at this hour, at this time, when none of us know where the world is heading. But I have a secret. God knows. Don't trap yourselves in the trimmings of this world. Don't trap yourself in the deception of human beings. The heart of man is desperately wicked and cunning. The only one that has no arms of wickedness in him. Your heavenly father, join me as we dig deeper than ever before to seek the presence of God, emptying ourselves to transform our minds and become who he wants us to be, not who you want to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Love you guys. Bye for now. Hope to hear your views hope to hope you share it you like it and um, comment love to read the comments <laughs> it blesses me as well bye for now